How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to update your iPad or iPad mini to iOS 7. And to do that, what you're going to have to do is first, you're going to find your settings app and tap on your settings. From there, uh, before we do the update part, I want you to go to iCloud and go to storage and backup. Now, if you don't have your iCloud set up, you can just kind of fast forward through this part. But for anyone that does have iCloud set up, I recommend that you would do a backup first. And what this does is it's basically backing up all your information from pictures to notes to um, pictures, notes. There's a third one. Um, I'll remember it. Oh, pictures, notes, and photos. Um, now, normally when you download and install an, an update, if, if everything works the way it's supposed to work, then it, it backs up all your information first, and then it installs the new update, and it puts all your information back on there. Remember that things can go wrong. Everything is not a perfect process. So that's why I always take the precaution and do uh, a quick backup first. Now, this is really quick. It usually takes uh, about two minutes at the most, five minutes. But it's usually pretty fast. And what it's going to do is, again, just be a, like a, a backup safeguard so to make sure all your information is backed up and is safe. Uh, so then when we go into doing the download and the install for iOS 7, if something were to happen, then you don't have to worry about it. You're set. Now, one thing I also point out is currently my iPad is only at 20%, and that's not good. When you update your uh, iPad, you definitely want to make sure that you're at a, you have charged it first or that it is currently plugged in while it's being updated because if if the iPad were to go off while it's updating it'll it can brick your iPad and brick it means that it can make it useless so you don't want it to get bricked so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my charger here and um, that's a lot safer because since we're about to do the update um, I can, you know, feel confident knowing that it's not going to shut off or something's going to happen because the battery is low. Okay. Uh, also, to do the backup, your iPad needs to be connected to Wi-Fi. You need to be connected to the internet. So if your Wi-Fi is turned off, you need to turn that on first by going up here to Wi-Fi and making sure it is on. Okay. So now that our Wi-Fi is on, we've backed up to iCloud. The next thing you want to do is go to General and then go to Software Update. Okay, and here it will say iOS 7. It shows you how many megabytes of storage it is. If you tap learn more, it gives you a detailed list of all the changes that are going to be made. It also shows you what features that are available. Now, depending on what iPad you have, you may not receive all of the new features. So if you are concerned, maybe your iPad is older and you may not get all the features, go ahead and check that list and it'll give you an idea of, of what devices are going to get what features and all that. Okay, so now that's done, we're going to go ahead and tap download and install. Now, this process can take anywhere from about 45 minutes to about an hour and a half. So don't do this if you're about to go somewhere you want to use your iPad or um, if you may need to use it in 30 minutes. Uh, pick a time when you're not doing anything with it. For example, if you're gonna go to someone's house, you're gonna leave it at home anyway, that's a great time to upgrade. Or overnight, if you're about to go to sleep, go ahead and initiate the update and when you wake up, it will be ready to go. But if not, um, during the update process, you cannot use it at all. You can't do anything with it. It is totally like non-responsive until the update is finished. So just keep that in mind. We're gonna go ahead and tap agree. And then uh, agree again. And uh, what it's going to do first, right now it's downloading the update. And um, so it's going to take 10 minutes just to download the update. And once the download is finished, there should be a button right here that will say install. You're going to tap install and that will initiate the full um, install of iOS 7. Okay. I hope you guys found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Um, what I will do is when the update is complete, I will come back and show you what the first page looks like. So you'll know that everything, what it's supposed to look like. Okay? So I'll catch you when things are all done. All right, so this is how your iPad is going to look uh, once you have completed the update. Um, you know, you'll be on the main screen that shows you hello in all the different languages. You just swipe 
left to right and it'll take you right into resetting up your iPad. Alright, hope you guys again found this helpful. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to HG Tech videos and watch out for more videos on iOS 7. Take care and have a good one.